first at noon, let's start with Storm Team 8 meteorologist Terry DeBoer. Yeah, and as we are now in a waiting game, the first blizzard it's warning it's issued since the February 2nd, the Groundhog Day blizzard back in 2011. And today, well, we are still waiting for that precipitation to come in, but we certainly have seen the video evidence of this storm coming to fruition for folks off to our west uh, from Montana and Wyoming into the Dakotas, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, seeing the locally heavy snowfall already. Downtown Kalamazoo still looking at fairly quiet conditions and temperatures that are actually at or even a little above the freezing mark. Readings with a southerly wind continuing to be several degrees warmer than we were at this point yesterday morning. In fact, we're 10 to almost 50 degrees warmer than we were at this point yesterday and so as we watch the beginning stages of the precipitation coming into play with still that southerly breeze that precip may actually begin as a wintry mixture of light rain and light snow over the next couple of hours before eventually making the transition to all snow when we get on the back side of that cold front here's a look at the satellite radar composite now and you can see the clouds are certainly in and the moisture is really starting to saturate all levels of the atmosphere so we're very optimistic over the next couple of hours we're going to start to pick up some of that precip uh, but overall the cold front is still back to our west and as it continues to press eastward it is going to make that transition to locally heavy snowfall the winds pick up tonight into the day tomorrow and we've got that blizzard warning that will be in effect starting at four o'clock this afternoon but really the high impact begins later tonight into the day tomorrow and in fact we've got meteorologist sarah flynn here and sarah i know uh, before you joined storm team eight <laughs> you were out in iowa where blizzards mm -hmm. are very uh, often a, a yeah. part of the winter vocabulary. So can you set the stage for, for what people should expect with a blizzard? Right, so with it, it's not just a heavy snowstorm. There are certain components that need to be had in order to qualify it as a blizzard. That does include falling or blowing snow. So if snow is not falling, but it's still blowing around, it could still meet the requirements. Visibilities need to be a quarter of a mile or less with winds at 35 miles per hour or greater. And all of these components need to happen for three hours or more, which we do expect it'll happen for many hours as we move into our overnight hours as well as into Friday. As a reminder, the blizzard warning will officially go into effect at 4 o'clock today, but we're likely not going to see the impacts right on the dot at 4. It'll take a little bit of time to get there, and it carries through Christmas Eve or Saturday at 7 p.m. So timing this out for you, you're in the clear for now. We may start to see some spotty showers try to build up to the south within the next hour, but really shouldn't impact any travel or last minute errands you have. Right around 3 or 4 p.m., I think it'll be cool enough that we may start seeing that change over to some light flurries, but it should be a pretty wet snow initially. Around that evening, evening commute though we're expecting that heavy snow to start pushing along the lakeshore making travel a little bit difficult at times so it may be a slick commute for you and by seven or eight o'clock tonight expect heavy snow and those winds picking up leading to those blizzard like conditions into the overnight hours so as this system passes through we're going to see several inches of snow before we deal with that lake effect snow into the weekend so just for tonight through the end of the day Friday 10 to 15 inches for counties west of 131 a little bit off to the east going to be anywhere from six to ten and I don't want to go without pointing out it is going to be cold out there as we look ahead to Friday feels like temperatures or your wind chill going to be below zero will warm up a little bit as we head into Christmas but a lot of factors to take into account and uh, long ways to go with this storm yeah we could be looking at some uh, widespread power outage as well as those travel issues and so if you do find yourself without power 211 is that emergency number to call